No slowdown for the GM Lordstown assembly line. It will stay at its current speed after an agreement between the company and union workers. First News anchor Stan Boney is live in Lordstown. He's got more on the story. Well, I'm standing tonight right outside of the main entrance of the General Motors Lordstown plant, where today a letter signed by two officials of United Auto Workers Local 1112 was circulated, say, stating that a planned slowdown of the production line, planned for the middle part of July, has now been postponed. The letter did not state the reason for the postponement, but we do know that last month GM crew sales were over 21,000 units. That's a lot, which may be one of the reasons why they need to be making more of them. They're selling better than possibly what was anticipated. Now, the letter that was sent out today specifically stated that GM officials, union officials, are meeting with GM officials in Detroit. And it said at this time, the previously announced D-rate has been postponed indefinitely. Now, the plant is still scheduled to be shut down for four weeks from mid-June to mid-July. But the planned slowdown of the line planned for the middle part of July has now been postponed. That means at this point that about 500 people will be able to stay on the job here at the GM Lordstown plant. Now, here's a little bit of what the letter did have to say. This will preserve jobs and allow us to pursue our journey uninterrupted. And all people's meeting will be scheduled early next week. Your leadership asks for your patience and understanding as we work through the details. GM officials today, they had no comment. They said they do not comment on production schedules, but did say that production schedules are made and they're based on market availability. That may be one reason that they need to make more cars here because the Lordstown built Chevy Cruze is selling very well. Live in Lordstown, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.